Welcome to 2024 and the first episode of the year for the God's Peculiar People podcast. It is a new year and I have some reading goals, so let's discuss them. Welcome to the God's Peculiar People podcast, where we learn about the lives and characteristics of God's people. Last year, I had the goal to read or listen to about 100 books. Now, I did manage to do that. I ended up with about 103 books that I mainly listened to last year. My full-time job is actually gardening slash like landscaping here in Florida. And so I spend a lot of time outside. So put headphones on and trim hedges, lay mulch, but it gives you something to think about while you're doing it. So the time goes by very quickly for the most part, unless it's like 130 three degrees, <laughs> then it goes by a little bit slower still, but the books help to kind of pass the time. So I was able to get through a lot of books this past year. And my goal for this year is a little bit different. I still want to try to get through as many books as possible, but I have a little bit more specific goals for some of those books. So for while I'm working, I'm going to listen to any types of books that I, nonfiction books that I can get through, um, a, an app called Libby connects to your local library and I listen to a lot of books through there. Nonfiction books, usually history related. There are some biblical things occasionally that I can download, but not often. So my goal is to listen to as many things of that nature as I can, but then also I want to read some specific books about specific people. So some of those people, just a couple, are Billy Sunday. Um, I've heard about him for many, many years. Grew up hearing about him. I just feel like I don't know that much about him. I, I know like a brief few facts about him, but I want to read more about his story. So he's on the list. Um, also Adoniram Judson and his wives. He was married three times. His first two wives passed away. So I want to read a little bit more about them, the work that he did in Burma. Again, he's one of those that I remember reading about when I was younger, but I feel like I've, I've lost some of the details. So I need to read about him again. And then uh, for a series of episodes we're going to be putting out a little bit later this year, I want to read some more about people who are influential in bringing the Bible from Hebrew and Greek to English. So we're going to look at some different people, possibly Martin Luther, uh, Erasmus, others along the line who in one way or another were influential in getting the Bible into the language that I speak, English. We have some books like that that I'm currently actually reading and some more that are coming that I hope to read about. So that's kind of my reading goals for this year for, uh, especially for this podcast, to be able to give you more information. Now, for Bible reading specifically, um, I will admit I'm not a read the Bible through in a year, every year person. Um, I did it for many, many years. The last couple of years have been more reading about certain topics, reading about certain people, uh, especially for this podcast. Uh, but this year I want to try to read from Genesis to Revelation in a year. So what I'd like to do is have you join me with that if you are interested. So what I have done is I've created some posts that will go up every Sunday. I'm aiming for like 6 a.m. I might try to do that earlier in case you're in a different time zone so you can see what the next chunk of passages uh, earlier in the day on Sunday so you can read along with us. But it'll be just a chunk. It's not going to be like here's what to read Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. No, I'm just going to leave it as one big um, section of the Bible. So if I believe for January, this first week here, it is uh, Genesis 1 through chapter 28. And then you can decide how you want to read it. Do you want to break it down into a couple chapters a day? Do you want to do like what I think I may end up doing is read everything on Sunday. You know, get a big overview of the section if I can. May not always have time, but if possible. And then throughout the week, go back and read about specific people, about topics that I, you know, things that pop, popped up that caught my eye as I read through. So take notes as I read of some different verses, passages, and then go back and study those things throughout the week. That might be what I do probably as we get closer to summer. That'll be my best option uh, because things get very busy <laughs> during the summer and uh, very tiring. So that might be the option that I go with. We'll see. But I want you to be able to join along with me. So I will post that on Sundays on Instagram. It should go to Facebook, I believe, as well. And it'll be in the YouTube uh, comments. No, YouTube community. YouTube community uh, section. So if you're following along on there with the podcast, you'll be able to see that. A good reason to be following the podcast or to be following me on Instagram or Facebook so you can keep up with this Bible reading throughout the year. You can leave comments about what you've read, something you found interesting. I'll try to do that uh, maybe not every week, but a few every few weeks, put in some things that I found interesting as well as I read. So hopefully you'll join along with that. But 
I realize that this is very unstructured and that might be difficult for some people. Sometimes we just need that here. Here's what to read this day. Completely understand that. So if you need a little bit more structure of here's what to read, here's this verse, here's this chapter to read each day, I can help you out with that as well. So I have an Etsy shop and in the Etsy shop we have, I think there's like 29 Bible reading charts, bookmarks, different ways the Bible is lined up that you can read. So you can check that out and to and to help you out also with that, I have a discount code for you for 50% off any of the Bible reading plans. If you want to buy all of them, terrific, you can do that. Uh, if you just want to pick out one, try it out, great. The code will run from Janu from now through January 21st, and the code is BIBLE24. Now, I'll leave that in the description as well so you can find it, but it is a 50% off discount if you just apply that in Etsy. It's a digital download. It'll be sent to you right away. If not, send a message. I'll be the one you talk to and I'll make sure that it gets to you if we need to email it. Sometimes things happen with Etsy, it just doesn't go through. But let me know and I'll help you out with that. But I want to encourage you to read the Bible in 2024. It's important to read the Bible, whether you read the entire Bible through in a year or you just slowly go through a book. It's important to read God's Word. We need to know what God is saying through his word. The world wants to tell us lots of things, lots of opinions on what God thinks, what God says. We need to read his word and see what he says. So I hope you'll join me in reading your Bible in 2024 and reading some other books about Bible people, Bible history. I'll try to give you some recommendations throughout the year on that as well. Uh, books that I've found interesting. I'll make sure to let you know what those are. Thank you so much for joining me for this first episode of 2024. I'll be back next week. And hopefully if you find this podcast interesting, you'll subscribe and follow along with us. Have a great week.